run. Uh, okay, guys, uh, I just want to work a little bit tonight on being heavy while passing. Okay, there's a time, place for everything in Jiu Jitsu, okay? You don't always want to be heavy, you don't always be light and quick, but at the moment, we're working on being heavy, especially for guys that like have got really good Della Heavers or spider guards that like to stretch you out and stuff. I want to try and look at like how to take them out of their comfort zones and force them into an area where you're a lot better. Okay, where you nullify their stretch reach and their leverage. Okay? So I have Josh. If he's got Della Heaver and stuff and he's stretching me out, it's really good for him. Okay? I don't want to be in this situation. Or if he's got spider guards, he's stretching me out, it's gonna be really difficult. So, especially when I'm coming against a really long guy, I want to be able to make sure that he can't get that. So from the start of this position, what I don't want him to have is grips. I don't want him to pull his legs back really quick. I don't want him to get a grip here and pull back, because then it's going to be really hard for me. I don't want him to get a grip and kick a double heave off. I want him to get stuck here. So the first, my first protocol is going to make sure he can't get a good grip. So if he's shooting for the grips here, block him. Okay? If he goes here, back. What I'm going to try and do, I want to try and cloak on top of him. I want to get like some like like wrestling grips on the triceps, okay, to connect him to me. So we're here, we're trying to block him here. Okay. Once I'm holding him here, I've got a little bit of time to work. All right. What I'm going to look at is trying to take away the leverage in his legs. All right. When he's sitting here, there's usually two ways he's going to get leverage. One way is he's going to transfer energy from the ground into me. Okay, which will be example, is he transfers energy into his bottom leg here, through his bottom leg, into this foot, picking me up. The other example is when I pin his legs together, he's going to fall back and generate leverage. Okay, he's going to fall back and pull enough weight, generate leverage, and kick me up through both feet. Okay, so the first things you really got to deal with. Alright, so if I make sure that I keep his legs together and not let him separate his feet, it's going to stop him from being able to kick up in the air. Try and kick me up in the air. Maybe I'm sitting here. If I hold here, try and do it again. Here or under here, if I'm nice and far back. It's going to be hard to do that. Then I've got to make sure I can't let him separate his shoulders from his knees. Because I see him holding his legs here and not letting him kick me up. And then he swings back, takes me with him. I'm going to go right over. So my next thing is going to be making sure he can't separate his shoulders from his knees. So that's why I drop him here really quick or here. Okay, hold him here. Down this position here, he's going to work like an underhook and stuff like that. Start trying to work his position here. What I'm looking at doing, I'm looking at locking his leg in here, pull him to here, and keeping the legs pinched together. You should always be on your toes too. I'm just sitting here because I'm sitting here for a while, so it's exhausting. So I sit here. I'm going to hold him nice and tight. I don't want to like come up the position if I get an underhook here. <laughs> So what I'm going to look at doing now is I'm going to look at here, pinching his legs together, coming low, he's going to try and pull me back here. All right, so as he does that, he's going to catch him. I make it hard for him. So I hold here, I make it hard, and then I'm going to smash his legs to this side. Okay? I can do it both ways, it doesn't matter. He gets around the on this side, exact same thing. You've got to make sure you use your whole body too. Arms, Legs, whatever, throw your weight there. Just collapse it. Okay? So first things here, don't let him get grips. Here, yeah, hold nice and tight. Here, force him to stay on there. Push to one side, collapse him here. Now we're in this position. He's going to be trying to pick me up with this foot here, or stretch out. If he can stretch his back right out, stretch right out. Stretch right out. Right out that way. Here, it's going to be hard. Okay? Because I can pass his legs. But he's going to push me off and make it hard for me. So as we're here, the first things I always try and do, I try and attach myself to his back so he can't stretch out. If he tries to stretch out, then I'm going to come with him. Alright? Now, I want to make sure I, can ta I take all the energy out of this. So I take all the leverage. So when he, when he stretches me out now, he can pick me up, pick me up. He can pick me up, right? What I need to do is keep this leg to this point of leverage here. Or here to here. So all I do is I hold this. Here or here. Now again, just grab his knee. Try and pick me up now, Josh. He's got nothing here now. Right, so I, I kill that here all the time. So, first thing, I drop on his legs, I keep his legs together, or hold it. I make it hard for him to stretch his shoulders from his knees. As he starts stretching, I drop my weight to one side, then I want to catch 
and kill the leverage here. Once I'm here, I hold nice and tight to his upper body. Depending on what he does, we are okay with it. Here, start windshield wiping off legs and pass. As he goes to push it, we're trying to push, collapse into one side. Take the leverage away here. If he's holding my arms, maybe I'll use my own feet. I'll try and flick this leg back here and pinch low on it. Now try and open it. Right. So I'm always trying to stay heavy, trying to connect these two together. If I can do that, right. Alright guys, 